What's up everyone? I'm Mark and this is Worth It Repairs. This is a MacBook Pro A2918. We're doing a trackpad replacement and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. First, grab your 4PL screwdriver and remove all the screws from the bottom. If you're using a iFixit kit to remove the screws from the bottom, you can use a P5 screwdriver bit. Now it's time to grab our handy jimmy and or a metal pry tool that you can pry right here in this little hole on the edge and just slide your tool underneath the back cover and once you get your tool underneath you can give your tool a twist and you'll hear a pop. See we got the tool underneath and then we got tension so we hear a pop then work our way around to the bottom and do the same thing on the edges here. And then we'll do it on the on the other side and um, get the uh, bottom up. Once you have the bottom unclipped, so then you can switch it over to sliding it off. So you want to hold it kind of like this and then uh, slide off the back panel. And it is kind of hard. You just got to keep trying at it. You'll want to disconnect the battery next, flip the little lever, and then slide it out by the piece of tape. Sometimes the piece of tape breaks and you have to grab some bended tweezers and pull out the connection. Then grab your T3 screwdriver and unscrew the screws that are holding down the trackpad connection and also the remaining part of the battery connection. Speaking of removing the battery connection with the tweezers, I actually had that happen to me in another video, so please subscribe to my channel and maybe you'll end up seeing what happened in that video. Next, you're going to want to pull off the little uh, battery connector and then grab out your T5 screwdriver and remove this screw right here to remove the battery connection completely. Now to replace the trackpad, we got the battery disconnected, so grab out your T5 screwdriver and remove all these screws around where the trackpad is and then we'll get the trackpad removed just so you know i'll link all the tools i use in my description below all right we got the screws removed now we can pull on this little piece of flex cable nice and gently to pull off the trackpad connection then slowly lift up the screen and have the trackpad come out and grab it and take it out now we have the new trackpad and it came with a flex cable. Sometimes it doesn't, but mine came with a flex cable. So we're just going to get it installed. There's these little pieces of metal that I didn't put in this video that you want to remove also, but mine came with that on there as well. So anyways, we will get it placed and lift it up. And then you're going to have to hold it in while you screw it down and screw down two corners and don't tighten it too much. And then once you get all the screws down, don't tighten them too much because then the thing won't click at all. So you want to make them a little bit loose. Thank you again for watching my video and learning how to replace the trackpad in this MacBook Pro. Please like the video if you found it helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Contact me if you want any repairs. It's mark at worthitrepairs.com. And I want to say worth it. Roll it. It's your turn.